Hey guys, Alvaro here with Particle School, and in this class we'll see how to align particles to a object surface and give it a Z variation on its Z axis, on its rotation. So let's reset the scene and create a box. I want it to be a cube. So let's make it 50, 50, 50. And I want to center it. Let's create a teapot as well. So we can use it as particles. And a teapot is a good idea in this case because we can see its orientation. So just press six to open the particle view and let's drag this standard flow here. Let's make all the particles born on first frame and let's make something like 34 particles. Oops. Let's bring this down. And instead of the position icon, I want a position object. So I can place my particles on these objects. Let's make the display as geometry. And let's replace this shape, shape by, by a shape instance and select my teapot. Now let's keep the rotation and let's change the speed. Instead of speed, I want a speed by surface and that's the trick. Let's keep the speed in now, take a look, all my particles are not going anywhere because I have to select the box here on the speed by surface operator. And now my, all my particles are going on its surface normals. And then I can align it with the rotation using a uh, speed space. Now take a look, all the particles are pointing uh, on the direction that they are traveling. And now on, I can change the Y axis to 90 degrees and all the particles are aligned. Let's make it here 100% uh, to see all my particles on the viewport. And on position object, let's, let's put a separation like 10 of separation so the particles don't get too close. And I think it's okay like this. But now all my particles are kind of going away. So here on the speed and on the position object, we have this option lock on emitter. And then now all the particles are aligned and they are not going away. And if you have a animated surface, like let's apply a noise modifier here. Fractal, let's make it 50 here. And 25, 25, 25 maybe. Check animated noise and let's see how it's going. Yeah, all my particles are not locked anymore, but we can activate this option animated shape. Now all my part my particles keep aligned and it's uh, keep locking on the shape as well. You can use a lock bond and get the object. With lock bond, you have to just lock to surface and check animated surface and put your object here, the box in this case, and it works on the same way. But all my particles are kind of pointing in this direction, pointing down, and I don't really want it. And I can make a uh, divergence here, but they kind of rotate in all axes and this doesn't really work because some particles because it's like a uh, word orientation and I want a particle orientation. But we can easily make this with dot operators. So let's, hmm, let's put a dot operator here and check out update and click on edit data flow. Now I want, I want to output it as rotation and it's like, uh, I want to use quaternions. And then I want to use a function 
that makes an addition with my quaternions here of these particles with a scalar. So let's get my particles orientation. Let's link it here and link it here. And now let's create the variation here with using a scalar. Here in scalar, you can make this value zero and this variation here will be the variation on our Z axis. Since quaternions needs, uh, let's, let's just try to connect it here. We have no quaternions here, but particle flow is smart enough to convert real units to quaternions. And we need a uh, rotation axis. We need to specify which rotation axis we want it with a vector, with a vector channel. So let's just drag this vector super operator here. And in this case, I want to use Euler angles. And now if we connect it here, you can see that if I change here, I already have some rotation here. And to specify in which one, let's just say one in Z. Now it's already working. And if I change here, all my particles are kind of spinning randomly. And let's make it any value like five. And take a look here. If you go with the timeline, uh, my particles keep spinning very fast and we don't really want it. If you add a input standard here and make it a new event, the that operator will like check it only once in the beginning of the animation and will it don't keep checking on every integration step. So the particles are not spinning anymore and it keeps its origin in this, this random rotation. So let's just expose these parameters here. Let's call it random Z axis. And then we can click here on expose parameters and change this variation and let's call it Z variation. And click on add and we can even expose the random seed. Let's call it seed and expose it as well. Now, if you close it, you have all those parameters here. So you can change it here. And if you don't really like this position, you can change the seed. So it keeps a random Z orientation and it keeps aligned to the objects normal. And you can even save this preset, clicking on save preset, and then you can just uh, give it a name and give it okay. You can even uh, choose an icon give it a description and then you can load it here. In this case, I already have it saved. It's random, uh, random Z rotation. And that's it. Thanks for watching.